Happy Monday, everyone. This is Dan Jeffrey with Rocket Stocks doing another trade review. Great start to the week. Two trades, two shorts, uh, both winners. Not complaining with how the day started. Um, going into the day, I really just want to make sure that I was calm and collected. You know, it was a weekend, but Monday comes around and you're super anxious. So I try to just, you know, look at my eight to 10 stocks and be real patient and just find something that made perfect sense to me without thinking about it. Uh, Snapchat right away just jumped out at me. So to put it into perspective, you know, Snapchat had this insane run the other day, but you know, it was pretty obvious that things were just looking like there's a bunch of supply up here. So a lot of sellers are taking profits up top. And the moment that we started gapping down underneath the moving averages and heading back towards the 200, I kind of felt like the the probable play here is going to be a quick short scalp. Didn't know how long it was going to be, but by respecting my risk, I actually only took about 100 shares on this because the other day Snapchat got pretty dicey and it was, had some ridiculous range. So even with 100 shares, I nearly caught a whole dollar on it and I was happy with what I did. So um, pretty much when this bar was just above the 76.50 level, I entered in here short, trying to just keep my risk super small to above the candle right, right in here. This prior support was more than likely going to be some resistance to come down lower. That's kind of what we pushed up and came back through. So as it started continuing, took the short. And then the moment we came down, broke below the 200, I just took my quick profits right under a dollar per share. It was, it was about 85 cents per share. I ended up getting the overall gains on this trade for. Yes, we dropped a little bit lower, but... It was a flat 200, and just the way I trade, sometimes this could act as a level of support to bounce higher, which inevitably Snapchat ended up doing, but it did a little bit of a false breakout before we went higher. So, reason for the short, once again, looking at yet, looking at the day prior, this was Friday, just seeing this level holding, you know, Snapchat did a ridiculous gap up, so quick little profit taking on the next day was, or the following Monday, was definitely plausible. Opened with a gap down, pushed up, tested support, now confirmed resistance. And this bar was just pretty much power and violence to the downside. So I had to take it. And after Snapchat, uh, the next trade that I ended up doing was, I believe it was, um, I'm going to just quickly check right here real quickly. It was indeed, drawing a blank, honestly. Um, AMD. That's right. It wasn't Apple. It was AMD. Knew the A was there. All right. So AMD. Um. Oh yeah, AMD. <laughs> so the reason why I'm laughing is because I've chased these first bars like this often. First bar of the day. You know, you have this massive, just bullish move like this, and immediately the next one. I've been guilty of buying it right here, thinking there's going to be continuation, and we just completely flop. Luckily, I was closing out of my Apple trade while this, or sorry, my Snapchat trade while this was happening, and the second bar was already occurring on AMD. So the moment that we broke below the green bar and this prior consolidation in the moving averages, I took this thing short. 200 shares let's just say two lots we had a quick flush down here so once we broke through the the 200 and got a quick push down closer towards 91 i scaled out some of the trade right here at the bottom of this red bar and then i wanted to see what the next bar did we had a little bit of a flash down but then immediately we started rocketing back to the upside pretty strong so once we overtook the 200 moving average i actually took my last lot off and secured some solid gains on AMD. It was right around about uh, 160 on the day, which for me I'm happy with considering it was only in like five minutes. So once again, why was this short taken? Because put this in perspective, AMD also had a pretty decent gain up, but this first bar just had no fall through. And luckily when I saw it, we were just starting to rip back down to the downside. I've seen this happen a lot where there's no continuation after the first bar of the day. Second bar of the day is completely reversal of the candle, and then we just we just punch straight down. Below the moving averages, below this prior consolidation, A-plus setup for me to go short. 
going back into the 200 and obviously we just sort of bounced around but i was done with the day securing my profits at my at my marks which was right at the bottom of here and then as we started coming reclaiming the 200 i was anticipating if this was going to hold it would snap down there but it didn't so i took my last bit of gains and called it a day so i hope you guys learned something from this video this is dan Jeff with rocket stocks if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe to us so you don't to get more content like this and if you want to learn exactly why i trade the way that i do more micro detail than this please feel free to join us in the discord hope everyone has a great week